this is Brandon from Watches on You. Today we're going to be taking a look at a very iconic watch. This is the Rolex Daydate 40, also known as the President. More specifically, the one we'll be looking at today is the Daydate reference 228238. And this is a very special reference because it actually includes diamond indices instead of the normal traditional loom, loomed indices. So let's actually just jump right into the overall history of this watch and the case details. So this watch is called is commonly referred to as the President because John F. Kennedy owned one. And actually the the thing that is actually called the President is the bracelet design. It's called a presidential bracelet. And it is it contrasts to the Jubilee because there aren't as many links and it's just a unique design. It's one of the most famous bracelets ever put on a watch. Uh, so let's just dive right into the case details here. Now as I said, this is a date just 40, so it is 40 millimeters in diameter. It also comes in a 36 millimeter diameter and this um, 36 millimeter diameter is the more commonly recognized version because the all the vintage ones had this diameter so the, the basically the determining feature of this watch is its I guess the complications in it so you have the date or the day complication at the top, which lists what day of the week it is. And then on the side, you have the Cyclops with the date. So in order to set the date on this watch, it's actually pretty cool. So you unscrew the crown, and then you pull it out once. And to change the date, you push up. I guess that's clockwise. And then to change the day, you pull down. And that changes the day of the week. So it's a very easy to set, quick set. Just Rolex did an amazing job with the fluidity with which the date sets also. So let's actually go over the overall case details of this watch. Now, this has a symphony of both polished and brushed surfaces. The fluted bezel is extremely sparkly. It looks absolutely fantastic. And then the side of the watch is, of course, polished, as you see here. And with the sides of the bracelet being brushed and the, or I guess that's not really the sides, the side of the link on the top are brushed and then the center links are polished. The sides of the, the bracelet is also polished. So, moving on to kind of what I think about this watch. I really like it. It's got one of the most classic designs ever put, um, I guess, ever for any watch. Uh, one thing that I think is really, really cool is the wear wearability of this watch. It's extremely comfortable. I mean, given the amount of sheer lengths in its bracelet, it might look like it's going to actually end up pinching hairs or something, but Rolex did a good job, as you can see on the back, with, they have a brush surface, but the links almost just mesh together in order to make it actually an extremely fluid bracelet so you're never gonna get a hair pinch and also they're spaced adequately so nothing will ever get caught in there I mean they did an excellent job with the overall design of this watch and I think that the modern version is a great improvement over the older ones so let's actually move on to the movement now the movement of this watch has a we've already gone over the complications but I thought I'd mention one technical detail so the movement of this watch is an approximately seven 70 hour power reserve and that is more than adequate for a watch in my opinion I try to look for a 48 hour power reserve just because that gives you two days of power reserve and given that this watch is kind of a daily wear for a lot of business people and things like that they're not gonna have to worry about the power reserve running out so let's actually just move on to a wrist shot here and this watch is extremely easy to take there to put on and take off. It's just very wearable, as I said before. You have this clasp where the crown on the clasp, you just bend that back to take it off, easy to take off, and then it snaps back. And it's extremely easy to, to put back on. I mean, they just did an excellent job with the overall engineering and design. So, in my opinion, this watch is one of the most, again, classic watches ever produced. They did an excellent job making it. If you like this video, please remember to subscribe and share. And remember, we're at Wicks and Jewelers in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Please stop in and take a look at their vast selection of Rolex, Patek Philippe, and many other brands. Thank you.